welcome back to my channel. If you don't already know me, I am Katie and I am a mum of three. On my channel, I share videos about finding you, finding your style and getting organised while you're at it. I upload every single Sunday, so I would love it if you subscribed and joined this community. There's a Facebook group you can join and I'm on Instagram, like come and say hello. I love getting to know you. Today, I want to focus on something that I get asked about quite a lot. And it's something that is fundamental to my well-being and something that I've worked really, really hard on over the last few years. And it's definitely helped me to find myself again. And that is positivity. And the question that I get asked a lot is, how do you stay so positive? Now, don't get me wrong, I do have down days. There are days where I'm just like, oh, I'm so over today. Is it Friday yet? Is it the weekend yet? Don't get me wrong, I, there, I'm not some superhuman person that stays positive all the time. But I do have processes in place that mean when I start to feel a little bit down, I am able to lift myself back out quite quickly. And that's the thing. It's not about staying positive all of the time. It's about controlling yourself so that when you have those down days, you allow yourself to feel down, but then you pick yourself back up and find that positivity again. So tip number one, and it's a big one. It's something I do every single day, and that is write in my gratitude journal. Every single morning I pick up my journal, I write down three things that I am grateful for, and I also write down 10 goals that I would like to achieve, but I write them in present tense, which basically means I write them as if they've already happened. So I live in my dream house. I am a best-selling author. I am a fantastic mother. You know, I write things down as if they've already happened. And that helps me to live in a way that I am able to be grateful for things that haven't happened yet, but they help me to aim towards those things knowing that I am grateful for them. That probably doesn't make a lot of sense. I don't know. Um, I have done a whole other video all about that and I will put that up there so that it will make more sense when you watch that video but the point is is every single day without fail I show my gratitude in writing if you write things down it cements it in your brain so I write down three things that I am grateful for like actually grateful for in this moment not things that I wish I was grateful for so I write down three things it could be that I've woken up and it is a lovely sunny day I am grateful for a for a warm drink I am grateful that my hair is having a great hair day today like look at my curls they're looking great today little things not I'm grateful for my family I'm grateful for my house like of course we're grateful for those things if you notice the small small things you start to realize that actually there's a lot to be grateful for in this world. I am grateful that my son rescued a snail off the side of the path. I'm grateful that he has that warm heart. I'm grateful that Lily came home with a she's a school counsellor. I'm so grateful for that because she got chosen because they recognize that she is a lovely person and deserves that title. I'm grateful for that. See the positive in the teeny tiny things and you will see that they add up to a really grateful life. Tip number two is something that I've been doing recently that I wish I'd done a long time ago. It's reframing your thinking so that instead of thinking one thing, you twist it slightly to be a different thing. Let me give you an example. I am not a fan of the school run I'm not a fan of having to traipse backwards and forwards from school clubs. And for the longest time, I've moaned about it. Like, oh, it's Tuesday, it's ballet. Oh God, it's Thursday, it's brownies today. Like, and I'm and doing that. I mean, it just drags you down, doesn't it? When you're just moaning about things all the time. And what I'm really, and I'm not great at this, but it's something I'm really working on, is reframing to think to yourself, I'm lucky that we are able to send the girls to ballet. I am lucky that our brownies unit has not been shut down yet because a lot of them are, there aren't enough volunteers. 
and that they are able to go to rainbows and to brownies. I am lucky that our children get to go to school, that I'm able to take them to school. I am lucky that I am able to stay home to take them to these things. It's it's something that you really need to work on, but if you find yourself moaning about something, try and switch it around. Ugh, I hate that I don't fit into my clothes. Reframe it to, I'm really lucky that I am well fed enough. <laughs> Whatever. Tip number three, really obvious one, but it is making time for yourself. If you do not make time for yourself, you will become resentful, you will become drained, you'll be so tired of the situation that you just will not be in a positive mind frame. So even if it is, and I've spoken about this before, even if it is just putting some music on while you're doing the housework, having a dance around the kitchen with the music on while you're making dinner, just something just to give you a little element of yourself. And music is a great way of doing that. It's a great way of exploring yourself through the tunes that you like. Tunes, who even am I? It is not about going to the spa or having long bubble baths. Sometimes it's just, smiling at yourself in the mirror while you're doing your makeup, making sure you're doing your makeup if that's something that makes you happy. Sometimes it is just going for a walk, clearing your head, reading a book at bedtime, just something. It doesn't have to be a big extravagant spa day to be me time. It's just making sure there are times in your day that you do something just for you. Tip number four, talk it out. If you are feeling negative, tell someone, preferably another woman, because you know what, we understand it. We are emotional thinkers, we get it. We will nod and smile and be like, oh, I feel your pain, I'm sorry, I get it. You know, it'll, it'll be all right. We won't try and fix you. Men try to fix people. So I tend not to speak to my husband about these things. Like I tell him and then I try and ignore it when he's like, well, have you tried this? Have you tried this? And I'm like, I don't want to be fixed. I just want you to listen to me. So talking it through with a girlfriend, you can message me. You are welcome to post in the group if you're having a down day. If you're not in the Facebook group, go and join it. It's awesome. Talk it through with somebody and just let it out. It's always good to let these emotions out. Tip number five is move your body. Now, I don't mean, you know, go and run on a treadmill for three hours. Like, I don't mean that. But what I do mean is, like I say similar to the whole listening to the music thing, sometimes changing the state of your body will change the state of your mind. So if you're sat there on the sofa or slouched like, mm, more negative, stand up, put some music on and shake your bum, make yourself move yourself. Go for a long walk, walk to school instead of driving to school, like move yourself, move yourself, even if it is just changing rooms like take yourself upstairs and go and like do your face or something just move yourself from the situation you are in to another physical state it will help your mental state tip number six surround yourself with positive people i have something that i say to people and that is if you are the most positive person in the room you are in the wrong room. Which basically means if you're the positive person and all of your friends are the negative Nancys, they are gonna drag you down. It's not your job to lift them up. They are, you know, they are just gonna drag you down. You want to be in a room full of positive people. I see this a lot in Facebook groups and I bet you anything, you are part of a Facebook group where they're negative and they just come on like, oh, am I, am I being unreasonable? Oh, just I've just come on for a bit of a moan, blah, blah, blah. And it's great that they feel able to do that, but sometimes there are so many negative posts that you think, hang on a minute, does anyone share anything nice? Does anyone ever share anything that's uplifting? No, it is literally they come here to moan and then they leave again. And that's really, it's just gonna drag you down. So if you are in one of those groups, either try your best to like lift it, like share funny memes or something in the group to lift it up, just leave, just leave. Come and join my Facebook group. My Facebook group is positive. We are all like, we talk about 
different things. I can't even think of an example, but it's all just positive. There's no, you know, if somebody's having a bad day, they are more than welcome to come post that in. But on the whole, we're sharing tips and we're sharing like, oh, has anyone tried this? And has anyone done this? And oh, I love this. This is such a nice picture. And oh, my children's first day of school. We shared all pictures and things on the first day of school because you know what? That's an uplifting thing to do. It's nice to share the positivity. So find yourself either online or in real life and if, it's your, if you've got negative friends in real life, geez, please try and find yourself a new circle or just say to them, stop being so negative, Barbara. Like, just make them positive. And if they won't do it, if they're just always bitching and being horrid, then seriously, get yourself some new friends. Tip number seven. Don't see a problem, see a solution. Something else that I'm working on right now. If you see a problem somewhere and you're like, oh, this is such a problem, try. And it's similar to reframing your thinking, but it's more active than that. So if you have a problem where, okay, you're, I mean, this is, I, I feel like I always use this as an example, but if you are overweight and you see like there's a problem here, I am not fitting in my trousers, look for a solution instead. Do more exercise or eat less, but exercise is better, or buy bigger trousers. See it as a, do you know what? I have an excuse to go and buy myself some new trousers. See the solution, not a problem. If you are tired of picking up a million and one toys, don't see that as a, oh God, oh, I wish I didn't have to pick up so many toys all the time. Think, right, there must be a solution. There must be a solution. Yes, get rid of half of the toys. Get better storage solutions. Retrain your children to put their own blimmin' toys away. So don't see a problem, see a solution. For me, something recently, I felt really down about Instagram and it was a problem to me. I was like, oh, Instagram just isn't working for me. And I was like, no, must think positively. What is the solution here? And the solution has been, use it how I want to use it. I don't want it to use it how other people use it. I want to use it how I want to. So I've been introducing videos. I've been doing more IGTV things. I've been doing different things on Instagram stories. And actually I got nominated in an awards category in the fires of finalists for my Instagram stories. So something went right because I just decided, no, I'm not, this is not a problem. I need to find a solution. Find the solution. I hope that's been useful. They are all the things that I do to try and stay positive. The biggest thing I cannot stress enough is writing your gratitude every single day. It will change your life. I know that sounds dr dramatic, but it really will because you will suddenly, the more you start to try and think of the things, you will start seeing them as you go. You'll be walking around and think, I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful that I saw a butterfly land there. I'm grateful that my neighbor waved at me. I'm grateful, I'm always grateful my neighbor puts my bin in for me if I go away. Little things, you start to see that actually, life isn't so bad when you're living with a grateful heart. And I know that sounds really sickly, but Honestly, it's true and it's how I stay positive. Have a great day and I will be back next week with another upload. Bye.